here we will see about the different forms of the malarial parasite uh, this uh, difference between these parasites is very tough to remember so i have made i have simplified it to a large extent so that one can remember it for a longer duration and can reproduce in the exam so let's let's see the uh, difference between the different malarial parasites so the first point to differentiate between different uh, parasites is the parasitized rbc so first we will see about the parasitized rbc in case of the plasmodium vivax the parasitized rbc is enlarged but in case of falciparum it is normal and in case of malaria it is normal again in case of plasmodium ovil it is enlarged okay so parasitized rb is enlarged in case of the vivax and in case of the ovil next we see the pigment so the pigment in case of plasmodium vivax is yellow brown the pigment is yellow brown in case of plasmodium vivax while in all other parasites it is dark brown okay so vivax ke case mein pigment yellow brown hota hai jabki falciparum maleri and ovil ke case mein pigment dark brown hota hai next we see the ring form so if you see the ring form then the size of that ring form in case of plasmodium vivax is 3 micrometer size okay and that occupy one third of the size of the rbc and the cytoplasm is opposite to the nucleus the cytoplasm opposite to the nucleus is thick so it is somewhat like this okay so it is somewhat like uh yes somewhat like this so if there is nuclear uh, if the nucleus is there then the cytoplasm here is thick see here the cytoplasm is thick here so that's why it looks like a ring okay so this is the rbc this is the nucleus of the parasite and this is cytoplasm cytoplasm opposite to the nucleus is thick cytoplasm opposite to the nucleus is thick here so hence uh, it appears like a ring so these are the three points in case of plasmodium vivax and these and these three points these three points are similar to the i mean the these three points are also same for the plasmodium malari and the plasmodium ovale just you need to remember about the plasmodium falciparum so in case of plasmodium falciparum the ring the size of the ring form is 1.5 micrometer and it occupies only one sixth of the size of the rbc in this case the cytoplasm is regular in outline so it is not thin hair and thick hair rather it is same everywhere okay rather it is same everywhere the cytoplasm is same everywhere it, it is regular in outline and a call form is seen yes this is a very important question as well so a call form is seen in case of the plasmodium falciparum so this is a characteristic of the ring form of the plasmodium falciparum so size see here size has reduced to 1.5 almost half uh, about half of the uh, size of the plasmodium vivax is occupying half of the size what plasmodium vivax is occupying one sixth of the size of the rbc the cytoplasm is regular while cytoplasm of vivax was uh, thick against the opposite to the nucleus and there is a equal form in the plasmodium falciparum so this is the difference between the plasmodium vivax and plasmodium falciparum while plasmodium malari and the plasmodium fail are similar to plasmodium vivax and now coming to the season stage so uh, the difference in the season stage is that the season in case of plasmodium falci uh, plasmodium vivax is large and contains more than 12 merozoites and this completely fills the rbcs but the difference lies in the plus with the plasmodium falciparum this is plasmodium falciparum this is plasmodium falciparum so the difference lies here that 
the seasons are not seen in the peripheral blood why because the rbcs are sequestrated in the internal organ in the deep organs so those rbcs uh, are sequestered in the capillaries of the deep organs in the brain in the liver like the deep organs has those uh, those rbcs so that's why those rbcs do not appear in the peripheral blood and hence we cannot see the season in case of plasmodium falciparum outside but uh, uh, but uh, in case of whale and the uh, malaria the difference there is a difference with the plasmodium vivax the difference is that the season is small in case of these uh, whale and malaria than the plasmodium vivax and whale and malaria season contains eight merozoites eight merozoites but the vivax contains 12 merozoites and this fills about three fourth of the rbcs malaria and ovale fills the three fourth of the rbc while the vivax fills completely of the rbcs okay complete space of the rbc is filled by the vivax while malaria and ovale fills only three fourth of the rbc now the next difference is with the gametocytes the gametocytes are spherical in case of the vivax malaria and ovale but it is banana shaped in case of the plasmodium falciparum this is a question asked in the exam gametocyte is banana shaped in plasmodium falciparum in all other cases it is spherical 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 okay and echo form is seen in the echo form is seen in the plasmodium falciparum here okay echo form is seen in the plasmodium falciparum echo form plasmodium falciparum so this is all about the difference between the uh, different malarial parasites that is vivax falciparum and malaria oval okay this is all about the difference between them